You are listening to Capital Lecture Breakfast. Robert Bruce and Shayna Marie for your Friday morning, making sure it's nothing but pure vibes. And in the studio, we are joined by a man who scored 22 goals for his country throughout his career. One of the tallest players in the Premier League as well. He's actually from my ends, big up West London, playing for Brentford in the early days. And he's got a gorgeous wife in Abby Clancy. He is also the king of the robot. So don't trust him when it comes to the dance floor, you know. <laughs> it's Peter Crouch, everybody! <laughs> Thank you, thank you. <laughs> King nice of the introduction, robot. though. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, yeah, I'm good. Going on? I'm really good. Yeah, yeah. Busy, busy with, mm -hmm. with a few bits and pieces, which is nice because, you know, football. I was 22 years just doing the same job, and then going into to what I'm doing now, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. It's good. A little bit different, but still as mm. fun, I can imagine. You're uh, here to talk about your brand new movie, that mm. Peter Crouch film. It's out mm. on Prime Video now. How does it feel to finally be able to share it mm. after working on it for, I'm sure, a pretty long time? How does it feel to finally have it out in the world? Yeah, like I say, it's mad when you say like that. Like, it's still... Like hit me hard, you know, like the Peter Crouch film, right? <laughs> I always said, even when I was uh, in talks to do it, it was like, um, I'm thinking, you know, you should be Usain Bolt or, you know, Alex Ferguson, you know, you know why you, why me, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then we got into it and it's quite, my story is quite up and down. It was, it was hard at first and, and right, football players don't look like me usually, right? So um, it was a, a little bit hard to kind of break through and, um, and it's a nice, it's an interesting story, I think. And uh, it's one that I'm really proud of. And like you say, it's, uh, it's been a long time kind of in the making and now it's out. I'm, I'm incredibly proud of it. So the fact that it's out, I just want people to, to, to watch it and, um, and hopefully enjoy it as much as, as much as like we did. I think it's fitting for you because you're a fan favourite. Like, you're also a football player that's had lots of personality that we're getting to see more now as well. Mm. It shows sort of the highs and the lows, your debut, meeting your wife as well. What part of your journey are you most excited for people to see? Um, I think kind of... You know, the early part of my career, like, uh, I don't think many people would know this. They just see me as the as the person that you see kind of today. And um, I, I sort of came on everyone's radar when I was playing for England or Liverpool mainly. That's what I'm remembered for. But the early days, it's like the, the kind of that hard work kind of from 9, 10, 11, 12, you know, that, and, and also that time around sort of 15, 16, 17, when everyone starts going out and doing different things, you know, like, that's the kind of time I was the, my most dedicated, you know, mm -hmm. if you, and that's probably why why, you know, because quite often there's talented players that, that go missing, you know, because they find other things. And it's quite nice that, you know, to be able to share that kind of my journey in the early days that people won't have seen. Yeah, well, I think it's nice that we got, yeah, a bit more on that side that no one did really know mm. before this film came out. Um, did you have to have a conversation, well, I'm sure you did actually, with your wife about what you will and will not include in <laughs> that Peter Crouch film? Yeah, you know what, like, we, 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 we do... Um, like a podcast together, me and Ab as well, and like uh, we 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 it's very much unfilled. <laughs> so sometimes on the line, I'm like, oh, hold on a minute, should we have said that? <laughs> and that's where we are with the film. And I think that's, I think you've got to be real, right? You've got to be you've got to be honest, and otherwise, you know, you very quickly um, get found out. And I think uh, that's what we've, I've tried to be with whatever I've done since I've retired from football. And I think that's coming across. Uh, it's the same with the film. It's, it's very much... They're, they're difficult things for me to talk about in it. Um, but I, th I think they had to be talked about because if you're going to make a film about your life, it's, going to be, it's got to be about your life. You know, It can't yeah. be about a, a made-up story um, that you want people to hear. So hopefully, you know, people can take it for what it is. There will be, you know... There are ups and downs in it, but um, I'm proud of it because I felt like I've come out the other side. Mm -hmm. One of our favourite things to do in the studio is to see what are Abby and Peter talking about on the <laughs> podcast today. We see all the oh, mate, Have you fixed the links in your watch yet, is what I want to know. <laughs> you know what? She stitches me up big time, right? And there's a, lot, there's a lot of stuff on there, and I'm like, right, we need to edit that, and somehow it stays in. I'm not in charge of the editing process, <laughs> is it? Throughout your career, though, we talk... Over 460 appearances, part of the 100 club as well. Do you have a most memorable moment on the pitch or a most memorable day, most memorable yeah. game? Like, what's the first one that pops to your mind? Um, yeah, it's hard to pick one, you of know, course. because like you say, like that, I remember watching the 100 Club on Sky Sports, right, and, and, I th and I'm thinking, like, Les Ferdinand, Ian Wright, you know, the, the Andy Cole, um, God, Alan Shearer. Um, those players were, like, were players I looked up to and I thought... 
God, imagine, you know, if I'd have played one game in the Premier League, I'd have been a happy person, you know, mm. I'd have been happy. So to score 100 goals and get in that kind of club of with, with those players, um, that's always something that's quite surreal to me. But if you think, if you pick like one moment, I think winning the FA Cup or representing England at a World Cup, um, there's little key moments for me. I even scoring my first goal in professional football, you know, that was the moment I knew that I was going to be a professional footballer. And that was enough for me, you know, mm. I'd have played for free, mm. you know, so to, to hit kind of the heights that I hit, like I have to pinch myself still now. That's so like, lovely. Uh, sometimes I feel like, like, I feel like Robert and I, we have a really good job as well. And, like, I would do this for free. Like, it's just a yeah, bonus that they want to pay me. Sure, yeah. fine. But, like, I love it here. So I'm like, oh, this is so cool. So it's nice Keep it quiet, though. Keep it quiet. You're still getting paid. I'm going to get a pay rise. Hey, 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 hey. Not that free, You're doing okay? a great job. You know? <laughs> um, do you know, Peter Crouch, that you are my claim to fame? Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Peter said, what? So we went to the same primary school. No. Now, obviously, you, I was a bit after you, but my favourite teacher of all time, you were his claim to fame. He would talk about you constantly. Like, I feel like there were pictures on, like, the whiteboard of you, and I'd be like, footballer, who is this guy? And he'd be like, uh, so Peter Crouch used to teach him all the time. It was lovely. Mr. Waring from North Ealing Primary Mr. Waring, yeah, yeah, really? No yeah. way. Yeah, he was, so like, I mentioned him in the film. I mentioned him in the yeah, film, yeah, yeah. you know, because he was my big one of my biggest influences. Yeah. Like, wow. like, early on, he made football fun. Yeah. Uh, Derby fan, he used to yeah. sit there with his Derby yeah. mug. Yeah, is that right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> same, same when wow. I was there. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. Same. No, Very I cute. didn't know you went to that to the yeah. same school. When that's... I saw the picture of you in the film in the in the tie, I was like, oh my god, see, we did go to the same school. Right. It was Very cute. Um, so yeah, you're a West London boy, yeah. and you played for Brentford in the very mm. early days of your career. Mm. If you could go back and tell that young Brentford mm. playing boy mm. he was going to have a film about his life, however many years later, what would what would his reaction be? Yeah, like I, you know, this was so far out of my kind of, my kind of spectrum. Like mm. when I when I watched football, it just felt like it was so, so far away, you know. And, I, and obviously, I loved it. And then it got to the stage like when I was training at Brentford, I was probably 10, 11, 12 years old. And that I used to go to Bromyard Leisure Centre. I don't know if you know that it was on the Uxbridge mm -hmm. Road um, on a Tuesday and Thursday night, and that was a real good grounding for me, actually, to be honest. But I was just enjoying myself. I had no. You know, I, I was playing football because I loved it, and then it, you know, it gets more serious. Kind of fourteen, I think I realised I had a chance. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, if you'd have said to me, even at even at seventeen, eighteen, if you said to me you play in the Champions League, you'll play for England, and someone will make a film about <laughs> you, okay, you're mad. Are you joking? <laughs> no, I would, I would have thought you were just you know crazy. So um, yeah, but like I say, I've embraced kind of everything that's been put in front of me. I've I've kind of like I've just enjoyed it, and I've done it with a smile on my face, and and. And even, you know, we're doing, um, we're doing a, with the podcast, we're doing a, a festival at Wembley Arena called Crouch Fest, believe it or not. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and last year it was amazing, you know. It was, yeah. it was we had Kasabian playing, we had uh, Paul Potts did Ness and Dormer. It was, uh, you know, we've had uh, Catherine Jenkins singing the Champions League. It was, wow. The things have been, like, absolutely crazy. So to, to think every kind of thing that comes up, I've just, I'm doing it with a smile on my face because I know one day someone's going to take it all away, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so you might as well enjoy it now. Yeah. <laughs> true, true. Now, Peter, you've had many achievements in your life, many great ones, going to the same school with Shana Marie. Uh, <laughs> playing the sport you love, representing your country, has been another one. Uh, you've got an award-winning podcast. You've written a book. Uh, you recently tweeted, though, being married to the girl in the Victoria's Secret window <laughs> is surely your finest <sighs> achievement. Right, listen, <laughs> fellas, right? <laughs> I'm sure there's lots of people out there who like football, but like, like without doubt, my finest achievement. Um, what was strange was when I, I went up there, she's in the window at Bond Street, uh, Victoria's Secret, and so obviously like, looks incredible. But I went up there and I, and I was filming, and, and I, I sort of had an out of body experience, and I looked at myself, and I'm, like, I'm now filming a women's underwear shop. <laughs> There's people here who don't know who I am. Right? You know, that's my wife. Yeah, I, you know, like one, well, it's my wife. You know, one fella's going to me going, um, you know, um, I go, no, that is my wife. And he's going, nah. Are <laughs> <laughs> you joking? No <laughs> way. No, she is your wife. You did marry her. That's your wife. You can record her all you want on the Victoria's Secret window display. That's amazing. What is the key to yours and Abby's successful relationship? I mean, you work mm. together. You're married. Like, what's the key? Um... I think I think we just get on. I think that's the main thing. Obviously, you know, she was beautiful, um, which is obviously the initial thing. Um, and then, obviously, when I when I've got to know her, you know, we just get on great and we laugh every day. So we we genuinely do. Um, and we don't. Although on the 
podcast, we argue more than we do. <laughs> oh, we probably argue more than we do on real, in real life. Um, no, we get on great, and we have, I think, the most important thing is we, we go out and we have a laugh together, you know. It's, it's like going out with my mates is, is, is when I go out for it. It feels mm. the same. Yeah, oh, that's, that's nice. lovely. We've got a game to play with you, Peter, around the corner. But right now, we want to do some quick fire questions with you. Is that all right? Yeah. First thing that comes to mind, yeah? Don't think about it too hard. Oof. Biggest legend you played against? Against Lionel Messi. If you weren't a footballer, what job would you do? <laughs> I've said something in the past before, but uh, I'd, I'd be in advertising, I think. My dad was in advertising, okay. so I'd, uh, yeah. Who's the hardest person you've faced on the pitch? <laughs> Sol Campbell. Oh, give us a why. He was a strong man. <laughs> <laughs> and he was a great defender. Favourite takeaway and what do you order? Chinese. And I go for, like, the, the egg fried rice and I have, like, a chicken curry. It's pretty standard. The way his voice drops, yeah, you can he tell he's reminiscing yeah. about it. Yeah. 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 Why do you not post on Instagram? In it. Because uh, I'm an old man. <laughs> Um, now, do you know what? I, I, I didn't really want another one. Like, I like Twitter because I can just... I know I'm, this is quick fire, but uh, <laughs> um, I like you can just say things about random things. With Instagram, I feel like I don't want to document my life, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't want... It's yeah. documented enough. <laughs> <laughs> Toughest manager right now? Guardiola. Um, yeah, he's, he's, he's the best. And last one, who has had the worst BO you've played against? <laughs> <laughs> Ninety minutes. I mean, you know someone what? must. My three names bang. But I can't. <laughs> I'm just Go thinking, on, you have to. I say them? You have to. It's fair because it is a sport. It's not like a true reflection of their life. It's just on the pitch. Yeah, it's on the pitch. Yes, yeah, 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 it's yeah, on yeah, the pitch. Yeah, okay, okay. Michael Ballack. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Robert's not helping. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. I'm not meant to react. Yeah, man, like, he puts in a shift, sent a mid, up and under. tough. Because hey, yeah. you know, he works so hard. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll leave it at Michael Ballack then. No, we got two more. We've got two more. We've got two more. Oh, you want more two more? You want two yeah. more? Oh, no. Like, yeah. No. Oh, God. Um, Ryan Babel and Andrei Shevchenko. There you go. <laughs> Boom. Ben. Maybe we'll send them some Lynx Africa in the post. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, that Peter Crouch film is out now on Prime mm. Video, so we want to have some fun with you on the show because we are all about fun on Camera Extra Breakfast. So we've got a list of that blank films that we're going to describe to you. Mm. We're going to act out a celebrity, a talent, whatever, and you've got a guest who that film is about. Okay. Does that make sense, yeah, Peter Crouch? Okay. Yeah? yeah, it makes sense. Cool. Should we give it a go? <laughs> right, nephew. I'm about to give you a big break. They're hammering me in the press. They said I'm only starting you because you're my nephew. But honestly, you're gonna go far, kid. You're that gonna be Harry one... Redknapp film. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the infamous oh, press conference. Yes. <laughs> All right, Shady, you go for one. Okay. All right, AJ. We're gonna get in there. We're gonna get in. We're gonna go out. We're gonna one, two. We're gonna you know not knock him out, yeah? Because you're not a muppet. You're you're a lad. You're a, you're a real lad. You'll get Stormzy to walk you out, ring walking them things there. And that then... Eddie Hearn film. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, I thought about the start. Yeah. I was a bit nervous to go in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jenny, give us okay. one more. Give us one more. Okay, one more. Don't take offence. Um, <clears throat> my husband, he's he's lovely. Like he 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 prays every night. <laughs> 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 That was good. True, I right? felt like I was at home. <laughs> <laughs> you must have got the accent down. That was good. Oh, man. Peter Crouch, thank you very much for coming in. We hope you had a good time this morning. Congratulations on the release of that Peter Crouch film thank on Prime you. Video out now. What can we expect? Anything else coming up? What's going on in your life? Oh, What's happening? God, like I say, um, yeah, like loads going on. But uh, we, like I say, Crouch Fest is probably the next big thing mm -hmm. after this. Um, you know, we've got. I think it's it's uh, tickets are on sale on the thirtieth of June and fourth um, of November. It's 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 on, and that's the that's the big one for me. We, like it's it's one of my favourite things that we do. It was brilliant last time. Hopefully, it'll be just as good. Wicked. All right, one more time in the studio. Let's hear it for Peter Crouch, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>